Anywho, um, so I'd say a little pre thing. I'd say overall, I mean, it was it was a good time. It was fun. Um, I think you know when you're doing a rail shooter, you probably expect um, the gameplay probably to be the main appeal and some really cool side pieces and stuff. But I'd say overall, um, while the gameplay was totally passable. Um, the set pieces and just kind of like unique world they threw in the setting. The music was probably the <clears throat> the thing that kept it being good. Um, I guess we can get into gameplay. Uh, the gameplay, I thought it was cool. I like the concepts there. I haven't played the other Panzer Dragoon games. I can't really say. Um, it's relatively fresh to me. I mean, I've played games that try to copy the Panzer Dragoon thing, but it just kind of as a minigame. Um, so I'm familiar with the lock-on style thing where you shoot the machine gun too. Um, where you like lock on and mass, right? And Star Fox, you lock on like a oh, dude, and then it does like an explosion. But um, so I mean, I thought that was cool in, in concept. I think it was fine. Um, switching the camera around, I think, is is fine too. Uh, the 3D game, so it makes it feel like it's, you know, I guess, I don't say immersive, but, you know, you're shooting all around you. It wouldn't always just be in front of you, right? That's kind of cool in that respect. I think it just translates into some wacky moments where, even though you have radar, sometimes guys will <clears throat> just fly all over you and the radar shows some stuff, but I mean, elevation and you know who's shooting isn't really as obvious um it doesn't happen a lot but i mean it happens often enough in every level that that's kind of annoying and i mean yeah just getting good and stuff for sure um but i feel like it's mostly you just have to know the levels right but for a casual first time playthrough you're gonna get hit by a lot more bullshit um I think the shooting lock on thing's fine, that's its style, I mean. Pretty, pretty straight laced, you know, there's not much else. You just do the shooting and the locking on. Um, other than that, it's just form changes in the boost, which is still a lot to manage, so it's fine. You're not going to do a whole lot just right there at that moment when you're shooting, but you do do a lot of maneuvering and form switching. Like The core gameplay is still just the machine gun and the lock on. But. How you do the machine gun lock on's a little different. Um, I think the level up system made it so you kind of centered on one guy a lot. Um, the the different forms, like you know, your basic dude was really cool. The the, the normal blue guy had a little bit of everything, right? Um, the power guy, in theory, I, I try to use a bit, but when it falls behind in levels, it it just doesn't even do as much damage as the other ones. So the only one that really keeps up in utility is uh, the auto machine gun one, it auto aims, and so since it shoots really quick, you shoot a lot of missiles out of the air. Sometimes its auto aim is kind of funky, because it does target, I think, the closest thing. Um, but for the most part, it's fine and you use it a lot. I think maybe instead of toggling between, uh, they could each have their own dedicated button or something, like maybe on the D-pad or... Maybe... I don't know, different trigger, but I mean, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I think, I think they could have figured something out. Um, because the, the dragons change a lot. So when you're always focused on what you're shooting, um, you kind of refer to your dragon as to well, what, what dude you're using and stuff. Like, I don't even want to look, I mean, maybe my TV's just too fucking big, but, you know, I'm, I have time to like look down there real quick, see which one I am, and two of them are almost the same color too, so. I mean, that's one of those things you just gotta get a feel for, but I feel like that feels like good to get through. So, toggling between one, you know, like, oh, I need to hit it once here, twice here, once here, twice there. And sometimes you fuck it up. But that's probably more of an operator error. I just think they could do it, you know, like a little upgrade. Yeah, the forms were cool. Like I said, I think some fall behind a bit. Um, but so, like, somebody who's really good at it, replay value, you know, there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of depth there. Figuring out how you want to upgrade and stuff, and uh, luckily the level ups can be chosen. Essentially, you see them coming, and you can just switch for them. So. It's not just kind of you get what you get, you know. 
You can use one and then level up others on the side. Because <clears throat> some of those aren't going to be even doable. I mean, the final boss, I, can, I didn't see how you would do it with any, anything other than the basic one. Yeah, anyway, yeah, gameplay, I think it was fine. It wasn't like super, you know, awesome. Like, you know, you, you feel like you're, you're just kind of like flying through molasses. You're not doing any like cool, you know, oh, I'm dodging this and that. And, I mean, you do, but you never feel like you're really like tightly doing anything like that. Um, you know, you, you end up missing most things. <laughs> you know, you're never feeling like you're super powerful. You know, but, um, that's cool. I mean, the super abilities, I guess, are cool too. Um, like I said, a lot of that's probably just me, but I'm trying to just base it on, you know, how long it might take to learn some of these mechanics. I don't want to keep referencing Star Fox. <laughs> I mean, you kind of jump into that and you know what's going on like immediately, so. Oh yeah, so the boost too. Uh, the boost, there was another weird thing. I was like, you know, sometimes a dude would come up like a boss. He would hit you, get ready to hit you with an arm. And I'm like, okay, well, he's hitting me. I'm right here. We're both in the middle of the screen. Well, I could just break, right? I just break. And then he'll just keep going. And no, he'll get hit. You need a boost there. And it's not, it's not really very obvious. I, I think just by default, they want you to boost more than you, you don't. So I don't know. Um, you can also boost to, to damage people, uh, which is cool. Um, the boost takes a while to come back. So, and since you need it defensively a lot, kind of just don't bother. Um, I guess that's one of those things you get you get better at too. But um, uh, those are it. Um, so yeah, well, there are some good things. Um, like I said, I thought the setting was good. I thought the aesthetic and you know it's kind of like I don't know how to explain it. Kind of tribally alien world thing going on. Um, I thought that was really cool, and the music kind of had a kind of cool vibe to it. Since you're always moving really quick, flying through zones and stuff, you know, the skyboxes are all fast, and you get to see a lot of the, like, wildlife and shit, and it's, like, just a bunch of crazy, you know, monsters attacking you and stuff, and, you know, it's a lot more uh, just kind of crazy fantasy, right? And it doesn't have, story-wise, like, a whole lot of great flow to it or anything, you know, you're not like, I'm going to go to this place and we're going to do this thing, you know, you just kind of, you just kind of are there and it's lightly, you know, tied together in her little journey. Um, but yeah, I thought the, I thought the visuals were cool and the music really had to that feel, that foreign world kind of thing going on. Um, I think the story itself was pretty shit. I mean, it was... For, you know, a game that was really wanting to get back in the action, which was, which is good. Um, the story wasn't very, you know, great. They tried to make it, you know, deep and, you know, learn lessons and stuff like that. Um, maybe bite off a little more than they can chew for something that's supposed to be really quick and back into the action. I mean, in terms of gameplay, I'm glad that you got back in the action quick. I think that's probably the right call. Um, yeah, they tried to do some storytelling while you're going to. Um, I mean, you're shooting so much shit, dude. I'm not... I tend to miss some of the subs here and there, so... Now, they did try to tell a story in moments where it was slowed down, too, in the gameplay. That's fine, but... A lot of stuff you're not gonna catch. Not not enough to be an issue, but... I mean, there's definitely some stuff, you know, like in the library thing, or... The memory place, like, I missed some stuff. Because, I mean, the game's pretty fully focused, you know? I was trying to have conversations on the side of it. Relatively hard to do. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. I think those were those were good parts. Like I said, the music mostly good too. The gameplay is fine. Oh, another weird gameplay thing was the healing stuff. You could heal after every episode by about half your health. Other than that, the only way you can heal is by using the super on the. Uh, the third form, the glide form. I think they should have just made very, very rare health pickup and just uh, I made the glide form thing not a deal. Because you always want to save the glide form or your superpower and non bosses for glide form health pickup. And a lot of the times, since it only gives you health when you kill shit, you don't really get to use it, but you try to. I think, like, 
the, the game wasn't like hard. I mean, it had some tough parts and some annoying parts here and there. So it wasn't, I didn't need like a bunch of health pickups, but I think if we're gonna do that health kind of thing, maybe they could have just like repurposed it. Like, I think the amount of heals you got is fine, but just maybe repurpose it somewhere else. I feel like I can maybe use you know, my normal attack, like my normal supers on my other forms more. Um, I mean, really though, if you unless you have like prophetic visions <laughs> when they use these things, I'll try to use the green or the glide form super, and then everybody just disappears. Right? Like most of the time, it doesn't work. So you're better off just taking the opposite heals. But, uh, I mean, it means you can go into a lot of bosses with very small amounts of health. And uh, some bosses, you know, most bosses you can learn all the attacks and figure it all out. But a lot of them, like the last boss and stuff, really it's really unintuitive shit. But because you go in some lower health sometimes, because healing is a bitch, and you're gonna get super punished for not figuring out some of these wacky tells or mechanics. I think that was the worst part, just, yeah. Bad tells and bad information and some uh, couple of gimmicky things here and there. Not much precedent. Yeah. Other than that, I don't know. I mean, the length for a real shooter is pretty, pretty long. 10 episodes, but they're pretty long. I mean, it's mostly because the bosses have an insane amount of health. <laughs> I mean, it's they're very spongy. I got high ranks on speed on most of them, and I thought that took forever. Uh, it was fun, for sure. I don't, not in a bad way, but I mean, that's most of the way. But there's a lot of bosses, too, so. I think most of the bosses are fine. I think set piece wise, though, uh, the actual stages where you're running around are more interesting than the bosses. Probably because you're moving around the world more and the music and you know you gotta see a lot of different kinds of guys and sense of just journey to move it and you know you're, you're going on a destination. The bosses are just kind of like an infinite place or you know, arena. Like I said, that world's kind of one of the best parts. So. Would make sense. Oh, yeah, that's about it. Like I said, story, nothing crazy. Um, I mean, I could, I could, I could, I could, I know it all happened and stuff. I could recall the events and the, the general idea, but uh, it's nothing, nothing nuts. I think, if anything, almost like a silent story or something with a lot less, uh, maybe less dialogue, more just kind of visual storytelling would work in this kind of setting. Of course, I think they're strong stuff, but like I said, this is like the fourth one, I think. So they probably have some kind of precedent. Let me, let me double check. Anyways, uh, as a whole, I liked it. I had fun with it. Um, it's definitely not my favorite real shooter ever now. <laughs> but uh, I did have a, a good enough time with it. Enough that I, you know, I'll, I'll like to play the others. Yeah, fourth game in the main Panzer Dragoon series.